And here we are in the Sand Kingdom. There's so much to see and so much to do. And let's hope we're not appropriating anyone. So this doesn't break it, huh? I can dive head first with all of my force into this rock. But as soon as my tiny little cap touches it, this moon rock explodes. Yeah, okay. Rabbits, huh? <laughs> all right, yeah, let's just chase them all down. That's fun. Cappy, do something. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. I'm trying to use the auto locator. Cappy, enhance. They're juking us out. They're breaking our ankles and you don't even have any. So that's, that's a real feat. So there's three rabbits, one of them has to be real, and... Well, that's fun. Hopefully this rabbit has the sauce, because I'm not gonna go to that third rabbit. If I go to that third rabbit, he's dead. All right. You did a wise move giving me that moon. Wait, there's a secret here. Or I could use my gamer skills to go... ...over it. So I just have to walk right here, and then I've made it. And I hope they don't put a moon behind me because I'm kind of committed. I hope I didn't need the little buddy. I mean, hey, the moon's right here unless I... Oh, gosh. Oh, no, no, bonk. Okay. The depth perception kind of messed me up. I thought I was going to bonk and Well, I really wouldn't have gotten over that one. Wait, I think I need to go back. Do I really have to go over all of this as buddy? Is that even possible? Uh, oh. What if I told you there's another platform hidden down and a key? Okay. Everything suddenly makes sense. And now we just got to... Take the nosedive, and wow. It's one of those things that was so simple, but it was just so much more intimidating because it was just so damn simple. Toad, you want a song? I got a playlist full of bangers. Let me give you the most popping one. Memories of a Tough Battle. Hmm, I think there's only one song that fits that. Yes, this is it. This is the music I always wanted to hear. Toad, you filthy little meme are you. This is really close. I feel like I can just make this jump. A long jump would be too simple, so maybe triple jump? Ooh, oh, okay. Well, I was close enough to not give up hope, which is the worst thing to have happen. Certainly is not just long jump, right? Because that's just... That's just too easy. Any fourth grader could have done that. Why'd they make that so simple? So these kind of levels always have two moons hidden around. So let's get some vantage points so we can find them. Oh, uh, well, I guess I found the moon, everybody. These purple coins are honestly a little dangerous to get. Having the hat makes everything easier because they're letting every kindergartner take their hat to work day. And no, we're safe. Did that say I had 54 coins? That was... That's a lot of coins for not really doing much. Oh, I forgot, I need to break the nut open. Tactical bonk? Nope, that was not a tactical bonk. Wait, there's a moon over here, right? We just gotta give an over the pants handy to the fountain and then bada boom, it's a moon. Uh-oh, that's a lot of music. Is that, is, uh, there's so, so much to do. Is that, is that gonna be all of them? Cause I feel like there's more, no, okay. Okay, so if my gamer senses are tingling correctly, there has to be a moon I need to grab as glide on. Wait a second. I think I found a moon I need to grab as glide on. Gotta get this bullet build, tactically jump over. Oh, no, no, don't explode. I need a, no, don't blow your load. Okay, cool. Now the fast, what, uh, what, what's the fast button? I forgot, wait, it says on the screen. God, I'm so stupid. It's okay, just gotta break that block open and we made it. I see, it, it was part of my plan, I promise. Do I have enough water? I don't know if I have enough water. Uh, uh, make it down! <laughs> okay, say what you will about any other gameplay. Everything bad I've ever done with my life led up to that moment, because that was the most clutch dive I have ever seen. Oh no, please make it back again. It's okay, we made it. And the, the, oh, there, um, nope, I just had to get the moon in style. That's what that was. And I think there's another one sneaking in here. We just gotta give a tail job to this Jinx, Jaxy, Jinx, Jinx, Jaxy, Sphinx statue. Wait, no, I think my gamer senses are tingling. There has to be something else over here. They wouldn't make it so obvious. Yes, here's the weird little floor tumor that just holds a moon for some reason. Okay, I have to prepare this jump because I'm trying to make it to that and, oh, I forgot I could just jump out of the electric line. That's easy. Well, I had to do this one sooner or later, so who wants to watch me wrangle up? Oh my god, please do not walk off the edge. Sheep, sheep, look at him. He really wants to die, and I can't blame Come on. I have to be like the worst sheep herder ever. I mean, you tried doing it with your hat. It ain't easy. I'm just gonna skip through all that time for you guys, because you don't want to see me just wrangle up sheep. And we're, just look at that, we're gonna, we're gonna call that good enough. So I just realized that they want me to use all these Goombas to get the moon over there, but I feel like I can just take it one step further 
and watch this. It's not over yet. I can use that moon refresh to cap jump there and get all those purple coins. Okay, that's a start. I definitely thought I was gonna die. Now we just roll up to the moon chest, get the moon in the chest from the moon chest. Now we... Moon. I feel like there has to be something else around here because Odyssey likes to hide everything around the corner and in your back pocket. Like, you're never done. Actually, I do think we're done though. Wait, this is glowing. Does this ring mean my ass on it? I, I think that's the only thing it could mean. Of course, what it was missing its whole life. I remember this mission and I absolutely hate it. We just got to find the one glow. Okay, I found the one glowing one. Well, I don't hate it as much as I thought I did, but Oh, no, 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 don't jump off the map. That would have been a catastrophe. You want to see how I know that at 980 moons or 990, whatever, 880 moons, a lot of moons, they ran out of ideas at some point. They just threw some posters on a wall and they said, hey, you should change that. Uh, sure. I'll go play in this jungle gym real quick. And we just got to go through here, roll like... Like that, I guess. What do you mean you're trying to teach me how to play the game? I'm like almost done. I'm glad I took the high road so I don't have to actually play the game at all. I can just avoid everything and when I see a pretty little moon, I just get to drop down for free. It's honestly really stupid that they just let me get up here so easily and there's nothing I have to go down there for. I just got everything I wanted, now I can move on with my life by just getting that last moon unless there's something secret over here and well you, you gotta check every corner, you really do. And it's time for some more Koopa free running and dang, okay this is gonna be a long run. A long one or a long run, it goes either way. I really don't know if this is the fastest route, but I'm gonna go as if I've never been wrong before. This is absolutely not the fastest way to go. But sure, why not? Now I just gotta walk one fine line, turn, there we go, got the key. You thought it would be a little bit of a challenge, but it really isn't. They really did not make this game in mind for gamers like, oh no. So let's go back to what I said last time. We're just gonna get this moon and pretend like I've never done anything wrong in the past. Wait, I think this is a Jaxi mission. I don't feel like they expect me to have such incredible coordination with Mario's role. Look at that speed, power, and accuracy. Damn, okay. Well, if it was, I did the impossible. Hello, Mr. Line Trace. Do you want to have fun today? Because I don't think anyone else you've ever talked to does. Every time I do this, people don't believe me. They don't believe in the perfect circle. You want to see a perfect circle? You want to see 100 points? Show me the... Oh! Look at that, flex on all these haters. And now that I need even more points to pass the second moon, I'm not gonna get even close. That is not that good, is it? Oh, 90 points on the dot. Okay, no, that's a victory. I honestly thought I would have to take flight for the spurt, but he just comes over here. Thanks, I uh, hope you don't become an endangered species after that one. I butchered that entire sentence. I don't know if you heard, but <laughs> I did not do that right. Oh no, I remember this one. It's There's like a key hidden somewhere and you gotta go on the wall and just keep on supersonic racing. And uh, I don't remember what I need to do, but there's something that I'm gonna do wrong that I need to do right. And I think there was a key down there. I went back for the key. We had success. And now let's get this moon on the path of... Oh, okay, that was an embarrassing bonk after riding the momentum of that announcement, but... Hey, we got both moons. Don't call me a loser in the comments. I don't quite remember where this Goomba needs to go. I just know that there's some horny Goomba out there who's trying to swipe right on this little Goomba. I, I was gonna try and objectify this Goomba, but I really don't know how. I just walked 500 miles with these small ass legs. You better do more than just give me one damn moon while I'm here. Wow, that was funny. All in all, we've done a decent job of getting all these moons. I mean, they're scattered everywhere and it's hard to find, but... Uh, the beauty of this all is that I just like to try and get the moons without getting them right. Because that's honestly where the fun is in this series for me. And that's kind of been exactly what this series has been. Haha, <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if I ground pounded right here and stuff and there was a moon? Haha, <laughs> what if? Haha, <laughs> hey guys, I found a moon. I wonder where it could be. <laughs> Wait, I found it and I'm going insane. Before we leave, I have to give a sign job over here. I don't, 
I'm running out of jokes, if you can't tell. I've said it once and I'll say it again. No game is a good game without a fishing mini game. Pull it in, shake it, shake it, and it's just, okay. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Hey, have I really not gotten this moon? This is like one of the easiest moons. You just gotta get one of these bad boys and mm, no joke. Just, just breaks, just a moon. I'm just gonna answer all the right questions and I'm not gonna drag you guys through this. So just say thank you, Mr. Sphinx in the comments and we can move on. Let's just go buy that fun moon that I always talk about. Ooh, and look at all this new stuff I could buy, but probably won't. But you guys are gonna make me buy it if I wanna 100% this game. Hello, Mr. Jaxie. How would you like if I put you on this very conveniently placed ramp to just show you off to the world right here? And that's a moon for some reason. I'm a little surprised they gave us like a cutscene on that, I guess, kind of. And after that, we're gonna introduce him to his dead, long lost relative, where, where does he think he's going? I'm just, I'm just trying to make you face the reality of life. And the reality of life is death. Wow, that's a fun topic. Let's move on. I'm honestly a little insulted when they put such simple platforming for a gaming mastermind like yours truly. I hate myself. Dang dude, we're playing the field. We're swooning all the lady goombas over here and Actually, I was trying to make the jump with Goomba. Let's just leave them behind and make the horny Goomba disappear. Oh, oh God, does that kill me in one hit? I mean, I don't know for sure, but it's one of those things I really don't want to test because that's a pretty fatal way to test my hypothesis. And is there a moon lying around? Is it just money? I don't care for money. Oh, oh. yeah, I do care for that, though. All right, Jaxie, I turned you into a statue and made you face your dead relatives, but how about I use you to run straight into some cacti? That sounds like a lot of fun. Wait, I'm gonna follow this dog into the dark. I'm just gonna skip past this so you don't have to see the good boy just wandering around and exploring. Can't believe he's really out here thinking I'm trying to play Nintendo dogs. Wait, hold up, it's time to bust some double nuts. We got, or seeds, excuse me. <laughs> Why would they be nuts? They're flowers, beautiful flowers. Yeah, haha, you found me another hat and seek mission. And then I think, we're almost done with Sand Kingdom? I'm sure you guys have been wondering where's Captain Toad been this episode? What if I told you he's just lurking in the ground like an insane person who has somehow not suffocated yet? Snorkel and all, I don't care what he has. This man should be six feet under by now. In a perfect world, I could tell you that those are all the moons from the Sand Kingdom. But first, we have to travel a bit because, well, it's not that simple. So now you're looking real stupid sitting there to yourself thinking, wow, I can't believe those are all the moons. Well, here's the thing, they aren't. Yes, of course. I have to go to Bowser's kingdom to get the last sand kingdom moon. Yeah, just keep ground pounding stones. Oh, that was a whole lot of fun. See you next time.